Hello, everybody, and welcome, or welcome back to Have a Nice Death, the incredibly stylish action platformer roguelike itself. More specifically, though, we're going to be checking out the new Executive Decisions update for Have a Nice Death. It adds new bosses, weapons, spells, different, like, quality of life changes here and there. Anything you'd really want out of an update. There's a room to test out weapons and spells and stuff since I've last played, but... Yeah, uh, it's been a while. I even skipped the Natural Disasters update. There's this tree where you can get upgrades that give you, uh, you know, different potential perks that can show up. And, uh, yeah, what do you got here? Your defeat has taught me something unexpected. Starting tomorrow at 5 a.m., I'll be up for training. I'll sound the bugle boss. Reason, no reason why Major should have a monopoly on the noise. All right. Imminent breakdown. This is the, uh, the scaling. Oh, you can actually play on, like, a, an easy mode now. I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll I'll cut it right in the middle here since it's been months since I've last played, like, four or five months. Uh, take it or leave it. Five health or 50 uh, coins, basically. You know what? I'll, I'll take the five health for now. Sure. In we go. But yeah, I don't know. The The last major update is out now. This is the last major update until 1.0 comes out. So, uh, I don't know. It's a good time to hop on in and get reacquainted with the game. Ooh, choose a site. You actually get to pick a site. This is great. This is great. Actually adding to a lot of, like, initial variety. The first floor has always felt a little samey, so this helps. Twinsy. Prioritize power over speed. I'll be honest, I'll, I'll talk to you later, guy. I want to get on into it here. Uh, but yeah. Oh, boy. Gonna have to get used to everything again. Can we dodge through bullets? I can't even remember. We've got, like, all kinds of different moves in our set. We can go boom, go bang. Whoop. <laughs> but we're gonna be scooting on through here. Holy moly. Good to be back. Just, like, I don't know if there's a... Uh, a roguelike out there that's really going for such a beautiful style. Who? Dang. This does hit very, very hard. All right. So, what do we have going on? We've got a little bit of solar. We got the one solar. We got to pick our first perk here. Change things up. What the hell? Gain 10 max mana. Cloak Swish launches an axe. This is new. Whenever you launch a cloak attack. So a cloak attack is going to be like an kind of an active ability. We'll get to uh, potentially two of them. Uh, each, I don't know, steel cell? Uh, grants you a pure heal of 10 HP whenever you destroy one. Oh, the thing that contains combat equipment. There's, I'm already seeing uh, some new stuff here. I'll get this. I'll get end my axe. I don't have a, uh, a cloak ability yet. Oh, look at that. But I'll let you know when we get one. I'll, I'll let you know what a cloak ability is. Intriguing floor? I mean, I have to. I feel like I'm legally obligated to go to the intriguing floor. That's new. Beginner speed assessment. Get to the elevator in under 15 seconds? The hell? Well, where's the elevator? I did it? I mean, that was pretty pretty easy. I mean, when the... Ma <laughs> okay, so the penalty was basically... I guess it's the first floor. That's new. Equipment storage, solary, and prismium. I'll tell you what. Let's get the equipment for now so that we can um, potentially get a cloak ability. I can showcase what that's all about. But yeah, seeing that there's already, like... A decent amount of new upgrade perks there is really nice. And starting with a new weapon. Like, run variety and, like, things truly feeling different uh, from run to run was one of the bigger issues I had. Woo boy, that should not have worked. Woo. So, glad to see that being, like, a little bit addressed there. Scoot, scoot, scoot. Okay, we have to do a little bit of a fight here. Oh, you're not kidding about this being a much slower weapon here. So what do we have for a super ability? Is it the same? Oh, baby. 
You can see up here in the upper left underneath our square ability, there's kind of like a, another diamond that gets slowly filled up with purple juice. When that's maxed out, we get to use like an ultimate for our weapon. It's a sword. Air attacks deal 10% bonus damage. Okay. So that's that. And you can see the little axe throwing out there. That's because of our passive we picked up. Ooh, wait. The axe actually does decent damage. Oh, I want to cheese it so bad, but I don't know. I, I don't know the distance on this thing. <laughs> 15. Okay, it's not like... It's not crazy. What's the cooldown like? Okay, doing 55 damage. Not bad. The axe is truly not incredible. Mosquito. Cast two homing mosquitoes. Is this a... um? Yeah, it's a spell. Boy, do I remember mosquitoes. They uh, My most famous game break utilized them, but game has been changed since then uh, <laughs> uh i'll go fight the thanager thanagers are mini bosses they used to be not like a good idea to go for because they were dangerous and didn't really give you much uh, i remember that has been changed so let's go for it Whoop. god i do love the aerial dive even if it didn't do anything i just really like the way it feels solary It seems like there's a lot more money on the ground here on this floor, too. Hello there, mister. Don't worry, he's fine. I do not remember his patterns, though. Okay, hold on. Do I go invincible for this? I'm not sure. No! I think that they made him a little bit easier, which is nice. He used to be a lot tougher than the like the actual boss of the floor. He used to be way tougher than him. It was weird. All right, we get another. We get a an anima, which can be used to heal ourselves up. Frenzy deals twenty five percent bonus damage. That's kind of our ultimate. Refinement arcane. What the heck? Deals damage after five stacks. When a scythe or cloak attack strikes an enemy target five times, deal deal damage. Doesn't say how much, but it it's interesting because it's new, though I will say that with a slow weapon, it doesn't seem that relevant. I'll go for the heavy metal here. Here, 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 here. I realize that. I, I hear it too. I'm sorry. <laughs> to the shop we go. 56 bucks on hand. Historically hasn't been that much, but we can sell things now. I don't think I want to. OSHA memo. Wait, contains a curse? Curses. In this game, curses are good. Curses are... This was one of the things that I found like really confusing. Curses are... Perks. Passives. So, actually being able to buy one now is really nice. Cloak does an extra 15 flat bonus damage. That seems nice. Nice. And nephew, even. Critical deals 50% bonus damage. Um. So, criticals already do 200% extra damage. I don't know how to reliably do crits right now. 15% discount on control room prices. So that's how we upgrade our weapons and our spells and our skills. So getting that this early is really good. This is difficult. Uh, even this would be good, but I'm not going to do a spell run today. All three of these perks are very valid choices. Oh boy, howdy. I'll get this because it says rank four and bigger number must mean better. I think it's just the more that you pick a perk in a specific category, the higher the rank those can get, if I remember correctly. Yeah, see, like, we got all the way up to here now. Yeah, I, I think that that's what it is. 
Mini boss. Real boss. Hello, Brad. I do know one of the things that was added in the update was alternate bosses for some floors. I know Brad has an alternate boss now. Unfortunately, we didn't get him, but... Ah, I was up to 8,008 hits. My record is screwed. Huge drag. And that's what we've come to. Comparing our colossal solary losses with some ridiculous paddle ball record. Do you spin? Uh, yeah, I thought so. Couldn't remember. Same deal. Scoot, scoot. He's, he's just doing the same thing over and over. I'm not complaining. Whoop. I feel like they may have nerfed the... I think they nerfed the HP on the boss. If I would have known that, I would have buffed up the difficulty. He says now until he gets to the later bosses that absolutely suck. Uh, ordinarily, I'd be disheartened by your abysmal intellectual deficiency, but not this time. The argument has given me something to think about. To be clear, I know that there is... There's 15 difficulty levels now. So, honestly, it's fine if the first one is not that tough. Even if it is, and I don't know if it is. 20 max HP up. Huge. Things seem more generous. Cloak does 25% bonus damage. Termination launched several de deadly butterflies. Boy, speaking today is <laughs> difficult. <laughs> I'll, I'll go for the 25% bonus damage on the cloak, and then I will probably swap my butterfly ability, the mosquito ability, into a cloak attack if I can. I think that'd be a, a better way to go right now. Ideally, maybe like a nice, quick, multi-hit ground cloak attack. Uh, 15 solary to buy an anima. Let's see. Whenever you consume an anima, there's a 10% chance of generating another one. Did they change the way the fridge works? Is this truly like a one-time, the whole run thing still? Either way, I don't want to go for it now. Spend an anima to get a pleasant surprise. Anima, again, is a potion. We're trading our one potion for... For nothing? I mean, okay. Like, I would have, I would rather have a bad reward than nothing. Hey, I was just on the way to meet Pump when uh, I happened to bump into Will Hung's latest victim. It seems like the boss managed to set him free. George. Uh, no, I'm Orville. Completely different pronunciation. No, my friend, George is the guy you're talking about. I'm glad Hung released him. Because I need some help, uh, need him to help me pull some minions from the toxic mood oppressing department. Toxic food processing department, you mean? Yes, mood oppressing, it was a joke, humor, you know, stress relief, laughter, comedic effect. Great. Uh, and nailed it, too. I think we're gonna probably scoot out of here. I am disappointed by this. How dare. Toxic food processing, industrial pollution, upgrade the next green curses, upgrade the next red curses. Well, let's go for this one. I mean, it's kind of a slightly newer department anyways. Hello there. Boss, just wanted to let you know I didn't get around to inspecting offices in section A10PE. My left shoe fell into a vat of melted cheddar, the pleasure. And hopping through the toxic food processing department would have been the height of ridicule. In short, the results of the inspection are that everything Waldo is working on is more likely to make you want to throw up than die. That's everything from me. Think I've earned a little break with a very, very strong coffee. All right, bye-bye. Scoot. Oh, God. Do I want to kill that thing? Looks like it explodes on death. Bubba Boom was the name of that thing. Is that actually a thing? Yeah. Oh boy. What the hell? Was that? Launching mortars? Okay, that shake is frightening as hell. I do not know how to deal with those. <laughs> the laser.
We're doing a lot of damage here with that move. It does seem like it dies pretty quick, at the very least. Get out of the way. Whoop. Now we're getting the animas. That's not an enemy! That's not an enemy! That's just freaking... Oh my god. That's not an enemy. That is a uh, molten cheese, probably. Alright. It's fine. It's fine. It just hurts a lot. I'm going to hold on to my animas, though, because if you keep them until you get, like, four, they start to turn into golden ones. Whoop. Trying to explain the anima system is a tricky beast. Basically, the you see that gray health we have? We have the white health, and then we have that gray health. Uh, the blue animas can only heal the gray health if you hold on to them until you have, you know, you would pick up your fourth anima. Without using them, it would turn into a gold one. Gold ones can heal beyond that. Uh, beyond that gray point. It's a, I don't know. If that sounded complicated, sorry. It kind of is. <laughs> so OSHA would give us another perk upgrade. Cloak store sounds fun, though. But I don't really have money. Whether or not we actually have to spend money there, I guess I don't know. But usually money is used for goods and services. I can't tell if we get extra souls for that. For killing the cute little French fry. Also, I can't get any more damage up because I'm currently doing 69. I can take damage during that move. Okay. Great to know. Punk. Back it up, back it up. At the very least, I think we fill up our super meter a little bit when we kill the baby fries. I think, I think. Alright, the red one's upgraded. This bonus is associated with a penalty. Cloak does an extra 15 flat bonus damage. Bonus damage Equivalent to 7% of the remaining HP. On the enemy or me? I'll get this. So that is a bonus negative penalty. Specifically, these enemies get 10 more damage, which does suck, or we can't use the map ever again. As much as, like, technically the other one doesn't impact our strength, I can't stand it. So I'm going to say nah. Oh, that was clean. Man, if I just didn't take all that damage in the uh, the cheese pit, we'd be golden. Not very familiar with the zone, though. Spell store. Prismium. So Prismium helps us get, like, upgrades. It lets us upgrade our current weapons and spells slash cloak abilities. To be clear, this is a cloak ability. This is a spell. If it uses mana, it's a spell. Get out. That has to do damage. I haven't been hit by it yet, but it ha that has to be damage. Whoop. That's the guy that needs to die immediately. I think I think he's the guy who got buffed up by 10 damage. So it's crucial that they die first. Ooh. What the hell? Go and get. Okay. That covers the screen in a very wild visual way. However, we don't have any kind of, like, iframes during it. We need to... We need to be in a very, very safe position when we use it, unfortunately. The other, um... The base scythe ability? Did he... D does he explode on death, too? Does everybody explode on death in this freaking game now? 
Is that just what happens? Man. Oh boy. What do we do? I feel like I need to get the health. We have potions to use. I feel like we have to go for the health here, though. Avoid. Dat. Back it up. They t okay. He totally, he doesn't explode on death, but he drops extra little uh, shots of something, something. The flies, uh, the, the little mosquitoes do a very good job of pointing us in the correct direction of enemies. So we know that there's nothing too close there. Okay. Dodge out. I can't believe how many things are hitting me after they die. It is so frustrating. It is absurd. Whoop. That guy tried to do it as well. All right. So this was the anima department, right? So we should hopefully find one still. Or did we already find one? I'm at three. I thought I... I think I was at two, so... Nope, we're good. There we go. Boop. All right. Big, uh, big spend there, but hopefully it's fine. Hopefully we can get ourselves a bit stronger. Whoop. It's always been a fairly punishing game. Solary Prismium... Equipment. I'll tell you what, if I can get another cloak weapon, we are going to be doing crazy damage. Just using them to guide the way more than anything. I'm assuming we're going to have a fight soon? No? Like a little fight room? I don't know what to call them. Arenas? That's so annoying. But I guess now that we know that he explodes on death... Like the other fool, we can uh, dash the hell out of there immediately. Whoop, whoop, whoop. No. What? Brutal stuff. These aren't bad, though. The first one was a lot tougher than the others. Scoot, scoot, scoot. Gain 100 mana. Whatever. Why not? It's temporary mana. Okay, Spiteful Chomper. This uses mana. Uh, how do you... Can you trash this? I trashed it for what? What did I gain? Hold on. Soup! Gotta get that muscle memory back. Scoot, scoot! I love that move so much. Another anima. Let's just use it immediately. Javelin! That is... It is a cloak ability. I feel weird doing this. I'm going to move this to the storage. Which seems like it probably did finally actually break the other one. Yeah. But we'll sell that Mosquito. It's just worth a lot. So This is going to be doing a lot more damage. Does it do something else when we hit? Oh, that's right. These have alts, too. Maybe we want to use one of the alts for these. Applies pierce. Increase the attack approach distance by 30%. I think that's only going to really be relevant once we upgrade it. 
that'll make more sense. It'll probably be like, approach distance up by 60. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. Just because I'm afraid to... Wait. How do I swap it? How... <laughs> Triangle to swap to those. How do I swap to the one in my backpack? I'm afraid to hit R1. Okay. I was just... I, I was afraid I was going to sell something I wanted. I just wanted to be very careful. 40 pure heal. Sounds great. Being able to buy these upgrades now is so nice. Retaliate the next strike is a crit. Mm, could be good. Could be good. I don't love the retaliate, but because it's like I have to get hit for that to happen. But I do know that there are some... There's something in the game where there's an upgrade you can get that makes your retaliate show up every X seconds instead of getting hit. So if we could do that, so we get guaranteed crits more reliably and we're doing... 250 crits instead of 200. That, that's going to be nice. I remember this boss being brutal. Hello. Uh, there must be some sort of mistake. I've killed like 40 of them. Tomato, tomato. Leave us a review on pukaraba.com. What the hell? Hello. wanted to get the hell out of there first. Whoop. Uh, not as bad as... Ah, you son of a gun. What the hell is happening? Okay. Dude. He is chaotic as hell. I, I do not know this guy. And that is that. He's a robot, don't worry. Well, Eve, as a, as a review, your opinion is important to us. Fine, here's my review. Confrontation is bland and as nauseating as the contents of a Waldo box. Not recommended. More pleasurable to vomit them. <laughs> vomit than eat zero out of five. Great. My god. Twenty max HP up, please help. Hundred percent chance of dealing a backstab. Twenty five bonus damage on an using an anima. I'll tell you what, sure. This comes with a downside, but maybe it won't be a bad one. Sorrow gain, <laughs> Sorrow's gain 1,000 max HP and 10 damage. This is a rank 5. These things swarm towards you like fish. I have no idea what those enemies are. We will find out. Next. My god. <laughs> that guy is some chaos, though. What the hell? Oop, ouch! I heard a crack. Oops. Hello, boss. How are things with you? What happened here, Quinn? Uh, I was regenerating my pumpkin. Look, it's like new. Isn't that cool? No, before that. Oh, I ordered a Waldo Super Supreme Hardcore meal. Or we recommended it. But I think I should have taken the vegan option because it was a little too hardcore for me. I didn't know you could... I didn't know you could get eaten. That's new. What? Who would dare? The hamburgers from the Toxic Food the Processing Department... Why? Do you want me to try to the meal yourself? Do you want to try the meal yourself? The dialogue has always been a little wild. There's something ham-fisted about it. I think it's just because it's translated from French, I think? Noted. They will see that there's always a bigger fish. Eek, sends sh shivers down my spine when you talk like that. Yeah, all right. Spend a little bit on, uh, on anima, I think. 50% damage for 10 minutes. 
I'm not going to trade another one. No, sir. All right, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done reading that stuff. I'm done reading stuff for right now. Physical illness department or addictions department? I will go for the one that increases the red curses. Also, uh, the addictions department boss is brutal for our build, from what I remember. It feels weird. I mean, I guess I'm more familiar with this zone, but I think it feels weird that this zone is after. I guess the doctors are brutal. Ooh, boy. Get out. Okay, so it does not attack underneath even slightly. That is an important thing to note. Did I get the coffee? I think I did. Yeah! Get out of my swamp! Whoop. Okay, that felt great. It's starting to finally get the hang of it again. There's a bow and arrow. Arrows seek out the targets. This doesn't use mana, right? I mean, and if the arrows seek out the target, that seems nice. I'll keep this with me, though, in case I... I love the backpack. Yeah, I think having that as a tool is going to be really nice. Okay. So when you say seeks out, it, it still does need to be pretty... Pretty properly aimed. It's like a gentle seeking. Oh, look at the axes. Oh! I think the axes scale on our... Um, on our cloak damage. If we can get the spacing right. 35. Look at that. It's pretty nice. All right, yeah, the bow is awesome. For, for just, like, clearing through zones, the bow is incredible. Probably a little bit less effective on um, the arenas. But maybe not even. Well, I'm glad we have our map. I was about to go backwards. Glad we didn't trash that. Yeah, the zone feels easier than the other one. Probably just the familiarity, if I were to guess. Oh, uh, yeah, that guy's... That guy's no joke, though. We gotta be careful. Uh, this is a spell. I don't think that there's a way to trash it. Maybe there is, like, on the unlock tree. I thought there used to be a way to trash it, though. Cloak store... I mean, I'm relatively happy with my cloak abilities now. I still have never found an upgrade station. Maybe I skipped over it for something else. Whoop. Oh, that felt nice. Bye-bye. Spacing? Yes! Trying to get the spacing right so I could do something like in boss fights without having to think about it, you know? Uh-oh. Because if I have to think about it, it'll lose the value, you know? See, look at that. That's nice. There's exploding guys here, too. It's just... I guess it's just a extremely common thing. The ones in this zone have, like, a better tell, though. Like that. Beep, 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 It's pretty obvious that they're about to explode when you make that noise. Ooh. Uh oh. I should probably try out another, um, another super. It's just like. When those moments, I'm mostly using it for, like, the small little bit of iframes that you get. Get out of here. 
Dude, oh! They have a little bit of homing. So do I. Prismium? That'd be great. I can't wait to spend it. <laughs> Someday? Cloak deals an extra 25 bonus damage? Yep. All right, we're stacking. We're stacking that up pretty fierce right about now. Come on, upgrade. Intriguing floor. I honestly, if that's just the trap room again, I don't think I can handle it. I don't think it's um, my jam. The platforming element has never been like the, the strongest part to me. 115 with the arrow. I feel like I missed some kind of like secret room. I think they added added them, but I've never like learned anywhere what the tell for them is. Oh god. You're still alive? They've still not nerfed the health on the doctors. They just feel so surprisingly tanky. For what they are. They seem kind of like an assassin. I, I did it again. I can't stop myself. It's a, it's a it's the natural response. It's um, R2 into a button. And I'm most likely to be hit in the square. Max man up. Eh. Don't care too much. Those gold things that I just picked up, that's kind of like the meta currency to unlock new stuff. I'll take the Prismium when I finally make it to the upgrade station. Copium, I will be stacked. Also, I've not found an anima in a long time. I'm glad that I haven't taken damage on this floor, he says, knowing it's going to curse him. <laughs> Come back here, you jerk. Weird. You, you. <laughs> Stop moving. Stop moving, please. I give up. I give up. Like, I don't need to do it. I'm just trying to um, figure out the spacing. Okay. So, trying to figure out where the exit is so I can... Oh, God, I got, st I got stuck in the corner. I used my dash prematurely. Want to avoid the correct path so we know that we find everything. Oh. Got caught in the attack there. Fills up your frenzy bar. Alright, this is the time to try this out. I better have eye frenzy. Right? Seems good. At the very least, seems better than the. Uh, my square move. Uh -oh. Doctor. Always the freaking worst enemy in the game. Always has been. I think we fully got everything out of that room now. Oh, boy. Oof. Okay, stand back. Cheese it. Is there something here? I don't know. It just looks like there would be. <laughs> Move. There we go. <laughs> Vengeance is mine. Okay, so we actually do have iframes there. Yeah, this move is it's better. It lasts longer. 
And it also goes underneath us. The tornado does not. Please. <laughs> Come on! Come on! Maybe the cloak store is the upgrade station. Maybe they changed it. I don't want to fight that mosquito guy. I, My assumption is not that that's the case, but I do want to... I want to check, since this is different from when I last played. Go up. There we go. Wait, what? Oh, there's a... I have that attack, too. Didn't know that one. I don't know how much I really want to use that one, though. Very slow. Is this... This can't be intentional. That can't be like... Not every build can do that. What's up with that? Whoop. Right? Not... Yeah, I don't think I need... I don't think every build can do that. So I don't know why... I pretty much should just never use my sight. I thought I had my ult. Oh, I thought I had my ult. It's all going sideways now. Now I have my ult. Oh. Please. Anima. Hey, you actually did. Okay, so I'm maxed out. I can't heal anymore with an anima. Dag Gust. What? I mean, I feel like I have to because it's blue. A poisoned metal whirlwind. The alt is poisoned. Okay, I'll tell you what. I will bring this in here. The javelin... No, the sword is not upgraded. These are already pre-upgraded by one. I've been really liking my aerial dash down, though. But I feel like I can't ditch my arrows. I don't know if I've actually explored that map fully or not. Because it, it seems to reveal in a much bigger radius than it used to. So, like, there's a chance it was just... Finally! Finally! There's a chance it was just revealing... Ugh, the whole thing, and I thought I cleared it, and I didn't. There's a chance. Uh, shoots two arrows. Absolutely. Uh, damage upgrade. Oh, we get an extra charge out of it. Costs probably two prismium. No, only one. I'll upgrade it. And then there's whatever. Oh, that's right. That's how that works. It doesn't refund it if you don't have enough. Oh, shoot. Understandable. Say, boss, there's some things happening that are strange around here. This morning at the office, someone had unplugged my mouse from my computer. That has to be a prank because they also activated text-to-speech. How awful. Anyway, Uncle told me to knock it off, even though I had nothing to do with it. I don't have time for practical jokes. I'm working. And what's more, it's not funny. Won't go as far as to complain to Mr. O. All the same, then again, I don't know. Happy April Fool's Day. Psh. This must be like an old thing. Oh, look at that. So you can, we can spend Prismium to change. This is how you used to do these. Uh, or you can upgrade. Like, this is... You normally couldn't get this from the beginning. You had to buy it here for a Prismium, but now it's at the base, and we could, like, extend outwards if we wanted to. And we can only upgrade this one to the maximum upgrade. Bonus damage to Thanagers and Sorrows. 
So the next upgrade would be Thanagers. Don't really care. That's mini bosses only. The final upgrade is Sorrows. I don't think we really need to worry about that. I think we should be predominantly using our our other moves, and if we're not using those moves, we should be dodging. Is what I would assume. Oh, this guy. He's got some He's got some strange schmoos. We all know that without your souped up magic scythe, you're nothing. Let's just say that thanks to the scythe, there will be soon one less weak link at that bank. All right. Let's say that. Okay. I mean, the arrows are going strong here. I mean, I don't, I don't mind it one bit. Oh, I thought I had my ult. Oh my god, that is awkward. <laughs> the one time. The arrows are busted. The one time I try and use that weird teleporty move, it gets us hit. My loyal scythe against your claw. It's a done deal, Hector. No choice. I have to go forward with Harriet, but she's going to crush me. Okay. <laughs> Should have just stuck with the freaking arrows. Because this is weird. Like, this is me moving and holding forward. It, like, stops me and moves me back. Patrick and Orville each spent 10 minutes telling me their woes. That was very important information. Some people do that every day, you know? On April 1st, our employees will obviously express their latent childishness. The only thing missing is some crazy pranks or attacking me. Imagine. Me trapped in my coffin, wrapped in toilet paper. What a disgrace. It would take some muscles to contain me in my coffin by force. I'd love to see it. What the hell? Uh, Gain 5% chance of dealing pierce. Chance of dealing bonus damage. Pierce does 15 bonus damage. Very specific. I'm going to re-roll this one. Crit does an extra 150. Sure. Man. We are close to death. And not just because I am him. I don't get time for that. <laughs> 10 damage for... 10 flat damage for 10 minutes. Sure. I do not have stuff for the Anima Fountain. Uh, boss, Modern Warfare is one of the most productive departments. That's weird, though. When mortals die from sickness and accidents, I get it. But do they actually like war? We meet our quotas so easily. Grim. So is the Natural Disasters Department after this? Surely not. Whoop. Birds. 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 Of course. Of course. Of course. Can't trust the homing. <sighs> Love it. How many birds are there, man? 100 mana. I've never gotten one of those, uh, the vampire pickups. Those are really nice. Okay, that better have done like a lot of damage. I'm gonna test it here. 123. I might like the other one better. Okay, it can do 123 twice though. It does a lot. It also looks like it inflicts bleed. Oh god. No, oh, it is homing. <laughs> Another anima. We got. We just got really lucky all of a sudden. Two, both golden anima too. All right, I'm, I'm liking the move a little bit more now. I just had to get used to it. Oh, wasted that coffee. Scoot, scoot. Scoot, scoot. Oh my god, what the hell is this guy? Where'd he come from? Where did he come from? What? 
Yeah, arrows for the birds is actually. You'd think it'd be really good. It's 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 got some downsides. Can't trust the uh, the homing all the way. I don't know. I'll go to the vault. I can't even remember what the vault has. Is it usually is it golden teeth like the meta stuff? If so, eh, I regret it. Okay, that guy is. That's the terrifying one. Uh, come on, you have one job, arrows. Joop, joop, joop. I don't know. It seems like it can home into one, but not two. Oh. Go, go, go. The fact that we could spam it two times in a row is also pretty good, I bet. Like, I'd imagine we can do it before we lose, like, iframes. I'd, I'd assume so. That was me just trying to test that. That theorem. Uh, yeah. Something hit me anyways. Not my strong suits. Uh, oh, bye bye. What the hell? <laughs> Please. I feel like something hit me again. It's it's really tough to see the birds. I think they did. I think they got through, but they also don't seem like they do that much damage. Thankfully. Which is which is nice. If they're gonna be that tiny and annoying and frequent, I'm glad they don't also do butt tons of damage. Yeah, All right. it's it's just the money. Solary and Prismium, sure. I feel like we're gonna get one more guaranteed shop. I could be wrong. Okay. There's everybody. Whoop. Uh. Oh, hello. Bye-bye. So, here's the thing. I want to use my gold anima, kind of. Well... Okay, yeah, they do jack squat for damage. I hate them, though. They're just more annoying than anything. Love. Ay, ay, ay. You're in dodge. Man, boy, I wish I cared about mana. We've been getting so many good mana drops. Oops. Nothing? Unless there's a secret room I missed, but I don't know. I think we're done with the floor. That That's... Ah, we get a bunch of money. That's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. The coffee just heals temp HP, right? The big coffee maybe heals max. Yeah, nah. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Fine. Sure. Let's do it. Let's do it. If I take a little bit of damage, I got the anima. We'll push it to get another perk. That felt great. Oh. Yeah, they're 
they slotted in a lot more rewards for for fighting the mini bosses like ahead of even the mini boss which is nice they clearly guaranteed that you will find more solary just can't trust these arrows man all right i don't remember how to fight you but i'm just gonna assume that i'm gonna have a bad time Okay. What the hell? That movement pattern is chaotic. We're fine though. It was worth it was worth it. Five percent chance to pierce. Whenever you kill something, launch butterflies. I guess we'll go for this. 5% chance to pierce. It seems like a separate crit. It's like in addition to the crit. Man, if there is another zone after this one. Like, I wanted to see a new zone. But. Temporary lifesteal. Gotta take it. Go, go, go. I think it might have to be on an actual... Oh, it did not have to be? It doesn't have to be on an actual enemy. Oh. We might as well do that. Whoop. Because then we can... I don't know if you, like, are maybe less likely to get animas. Oh my god, I just... Our sight sucks. <laughs> makes, it makes sense. It shouldn't be good. I have not upgraded it a single time. Check it, check it, check it. We used up the coffee, that's okay. Homing, please. Thank you. Fire arrow. I. It's not worth it. This is our last shot before this boss, and then. I don't know. Maybe what they did is like the next floor is just a one off or something. Who knows? The way that this, this zone used to be like a one off. Because I didn't see the option of getting the uh, natural disasters department. Again, in another life, I'd have so much mana that I cared about. Birds! No! What? Is this something? So windy. Bum, 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 bum. We're hitting that dreaded hour mark in the roguelike. Zoop. Mm. Sorrows grant you a pure heal of 20. I'll tell you, like, there's a chance that that's relevant. Infuse, hitting an enemy. Too much lightning. Sure. I feel like I remember this being a little bit blinding, maybe, though. So, potential warning. 
Plushkin. Oh, Plushkin. We do lots of damage, though. We've, we've been going pretty much full glass cannon. Stop! Wow, pitiful strategy. Using a bow is so primitive, you should bow out. Just a bit of humor to get this point across. How funny. Well. Well. Immediately proven correct. Shoot. Oh my god, the damage. The damage, though. Oh, the damage. Oh, the damage. Oh, the damage. Oh, the damage. Woo, oh, God. <laughs> I'm frail as hell, though. Please, Commander, the protocol? Yeah, you see? The bow is more than enough to calm you down. Even a simple slingshot could do the trick. In your case, absolutely wrecked. Whenever you get hit, you get five defense. I mean, that seems good. Yeah. Anger leads to hatred. Hatred leads to... Hmm. Seems like we may be moving on to a new floor. Refill the fridge. Oh! Eh, that's irrelevant. So do this, get another yellow one, why not? Okay, you know what? Fine. This is stupid, but I'm gonna do it. Because it looks like, it just, it's so perfect. That's the exact amount of money we have. On to the natural disasters department. Alright, upgrade the next blue curses. Sounds good, that's what I would prefer. Green is typically man. So everything here, by the way, is new. I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna get wrecked here. <laughs> Sorry, Claudie. Unfortunately, I can't make out a word you're saying. Some song about fire, devil sweat, all that nonsense. Well, here we are. It makes me sick. <laughs> yes. They clearly need to turn down the thermostat. I'm sweating through the seat of my pants. They're sticking to me. It's awful. Yeah, new zone. Oh my god. What are you doing? Oh, what the hell is that movement pattern? Oh! Temporary heals. Dormammu, I've come to bargain. Oh, this is a pure heal. I mean, the zone's pretty cool. Can't deny. Oh, the hell. Whoop. What? On God's green. What the hell, man? Magma boy? Okay, this zone's very cool. Beep. I do like that we can cancel our bow shot with a... Whoop. With a good old one of these. Feels very, very nice. Surprisingly lower amount of... Uh, Oh, that's Meg. My boy, all right. The hell? He's got so much health. He's a large lad. I mean... Wait, what? Uh, you hit me from up here? 
Can we not? What on earth are these enemies? Okay. Some of these attack patterns are absurd. It is a full freaking floor. It's a full freaking floor. Oh, cool, though. Does it change from... Well, I see, Claudia. To begin with, I was a bit dubious about coming here to get some fresh air. But actually, you're on to something big time. The National Disaster Department is actually quite pleasant. Anyway, I don't know. Must be the invigorating sea air. I'm bursting with energy. Uh, absolutely. How poetic. Miss Imamura doesn't do things by the halves. Yes, I do like to be by beside the seaside. Okay, this guy is... What? Like, very cool design. He's, like, constantly being blown away. And he attacks you kind of backwards. That is such a cool design. But also, I hate him. But I kind of have to love him. Definitely starting to do, like, noticeably less to these guys. It's like we're... Oh, my God. Getting scaled out improperly. Like, we, we didn't scale enough. Which would kind of make sense. We went all in on, uh, on attack damage, and then we stopped getting attack damage perks. They stopped showing up. Oops. Okay, watch out. The Bubble Boy does some weird angle shots. That. Holy moly. Ah, you gotta be kidding me! <laughs> the Hammer? Th no, I don't want that. Oh, boy. I'm gonna just skip that. <laughs> I'm gonna say no. Termination, killing an enemy resets your dash cooldown. I mean, that's fun. I'm obviously not going to take the spell thing, so. It's one of those things where it's like, am I going to really notice? Prestigious anima deposit. Probably worth it considering I don't have any money for the shop. I'm assuming that this is a golden anima, hence the golden placard. I think I maybe want to just, like, start schmoving. If I get to the end of the zone and I don't find that golden thing, then I'm going to probably back the hell up. But if I find it, I'm satisfied. Ooh. Yeah. You've got to actually be kidding me on that one. Arrows! Homing arrows! Uh -oh. I give up. I give up. How? How are you alive? How do I? How am I taking so much damage? Taking so much damage. How do I get to there? Whoop! I mean, the run's so long. I'm getting kind of sleepy. If I'm gonna be honest. Zoop! Zoop! Thank you. Any little bit helps. That golden anima is sorely needed at this point because of this floor. That can't be it. I refuse to believe that that was actually it. 
actually think we did check everything though. Looking at, looking at all that, I actually think we did. So maybe it's just that it's guaranteed to be one? I don't know. Oh lord, let's go die to the mini boss. At least we can die to something cool. Doing this, I can guarantee I die to something cool instead of dying on the floor, right? Maybe. Maybe. Because so we're gonna be flailing. Fighting a, a boss or a mini boss in this game that you don't know the attack patterns to is like, it's worse than other games because of how just brutal the damage is and how difficult the attacks are to sight read. Oh God. See like, how was I gonna know that he was gonna move the hell over there? Okay. Okay. What? No. Uh, excuse the hell out of me? Yeah, that is some wild stuff. Very cool, boss. Very, very cool. But very, very brutal. Okay, two defense. We just need, like, unless this is three defense... In for penny, in for pound. That basically lets us spam the arrows. Question mark? That's not invincibility, actually, is it? Uh, I'm going to go for the control room just because I'd want to skip a floor. <laughs> if I'm going to be honest, I kind of just want to skip a floor. Sorry. It's been a long time. I'm ready. All right. Uh, Final blow gives off a shockwave. Oh, this. so this is separate. This is a separate thing now. Ooh. Cool. I mean, I don't I don't want to do it cuz I can't do it. All right, here. Guaranteed sol solar solar deposit right before the final boss. Come on now. Come on now. Uh Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> skill. All skill. A different sword. <laughs> it just, it, yeah, it's interesting. What the hell is that? Interesting that it moves us backwards. So you see us slowly moonwalking away. Gotcha. I understand the assignment. And I also understand why you saved this for last. Thank you. I am going to cheese the hell out of the boss fight I have. I just want that on the record right now. So there is no false assumptions. Because I am hurting. Choo -choo -choo -choo. Also, I mean, like... I gotta do what I've been given. Like, this is the strength of the run that I have. It's just... Giga spam.
Spam, spam. If we do have a tiny little window where we can get hit, I'm pretty sure, though. I could be wrong. I'm going to act like it's true until proven otherwise. Because that's the best thing for our our health. Okay. So. I gotcha. I gotcha. Imamura. Here we go. Here we go. I'm here to spam. Well, well. What ill wine brings you to my office, sir? I think you mean what ill will and wind and to my office. That's what I said, Boar. Ah, oh, Catherine, I can't say I've missed your little slips of the tongue, nor your tempestuous character. I'm here to discuss disasters. You seem to be right up your street. <laughs> so we actually want to be pointing backwards. I think I'm invincible. Okay, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna intentionally spam backwards here. I want to see her attacks. Yeah, we're we're invincible. This is very cool. Oh, sorry, lady. I I'm trying not to. I, I, I became invincible. Ah, oh, brush you like a perm. Um, I, I see. You'll crush me like a worm? You really must try harder, Catherine. You know what I meant! So, obviously, it was a very easy boss. Mmm. They find a way to end it that way anyways. Gotcha. Wow. Wild stuff. <laughs> Have a nice death still is as volatile as ever. Easy death, easy game breaks. It's It's very much still the same way. More power to it, man. Easy to die, easy to exploit something into smithereens. <laughs> Actual invincibility there. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Start the game with a basic anima. Permanently unlock bleed curse. We didn't have bleed curses? Sorry for the flashes. I, I, it seems like it's going to happen a lot. Unlocks an elevator that takes you straight to Brad's security station. Shop might have an item on sale. Dang. All right, so lots of stuff to... It seems like some of those things that were were already in it before, and they were, like, taken away from me, and now they're given back to me. So that's kind of funny. Like, hey, you know, meta progress, though. That's, that's kind of what it's all about. That puts it into perspective. If you're upset about that, if you're like, oh, I liked that I had those things, and then they're taken away from me and given back trickle-fed, guess what? That's meta progress, baby. That's why I don't like it. But alas, that is that, and that is going to do it here for today. Boy, oh boy, the game, <laughs> the runs are wild. They, they, they feel a bit long for an action roguelike to me. It's just it's too long to be in a situation of such like instant, uh, instant death. But that's kind of like the Dead Cells approach, they're, which is clearly what they're more inspired by. Uh, is kind of have like go for an hour twenty, hour and a half, uh, and you could die in like two seconds flat in that entire, uh, you know, hour and a half. It's it's such a stressful thing. And, like, considering that standard difficulty, I mean, it's kind of weird and murky since it's going to get slightly easier up until level 20, but we're already level 7. Start the game. I mean, eh. Ingot gain is... Uh, start the game with a golden anima. I would say that, truthfully, level 11 is the last time where you, like, get very obviously directly, directly stronger. Um, because rerolls are good and obviously very strong. Um, and the fact that you get 5 at level 20 is nuts, and I can't wait to get that. But, technically, you know, it's not a direct increase of strength. It's a perspective increase of strength. Either way... That is that. That's going to do it here for today. This game is uh, continually wild, always gorgeous, always it's 
consistently had this sort of like strange underlying like jank feel to the systems of it uh, that sometimes works to its benefit and sometimes works to its detriment. Uh, a lot of those issues being like in this... Uh, in the pursuit of it being like a beautiful, gorgeous, bombastic, over-the-top visual effects spectacle in situations, you also lose a little bit of visual readability, and some of the enemy attacks uh, and boss attacks are very, like, kind of murky and lost a bit because they're just trying to be very cool-looking, and they are, but they also are cool-looking and not that, not as readable sometimes. So, like... If you're playing this for the first time, it's going to take a little bit to really, like, actually learn the bosses. And you're really just memorizing a dance. You're not, uh, you're not doing reactions. Which some people prefer, some people do not. It's the kind of game where the boss fights would get very easy over time. But right when you start, they're going to be disgusting. Uh, so, hey. You, you, that's not a complaint. It's not a, a positive or a negative. It's just, like, a kind of a fact about the game. Uh, which is sometimes difficult for people who like roguelike or are trying to get into roguelikes but aren't that proficient in them. You know, the fact that you are going to take a long time to get up to a boss that's really not very sight readable. Like, I would not have been able to sight read that final boss. The fact that I had invincibility is probably why I won today there. Like, I, I maybe I could have squeaked it out with my glass cannon damage, but uh, that's probably not. So, you yeah, know, mileage may, may, may vary on that. You may be somebody who likes it more because of that or likes it less because of that. Just a fact about the game. Thank you for watching, though. Check the channel for roguelikes and more every single day. I'm sure we'll be back to check the game out when it hits 1.0. Let me know in the comments down below if that's something you'd be interested in. Hopefully they uh, find something to make the game shorter. I, I know that there is, like, a, I don't know. I feel like the 45-minute mark would be the dream for this. This is, like, two times too long to me. Just, you kind of wears down over the course of time. But, hey, thank you for watching. Check the channel. Roguelikes and more every single day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!